Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt and Daytona Career Mode series. As always, let's look back at the last race and then get ready for this one. So last time out, we ran New Hampshire. We qualified 13th and came back in 16th. Pretty decent run. I know we struggled there a little bit in the trucks, so it's nice to have a pretty solid outing first time out. And let's look at the points. So we still sit 25th in the point standings. We are pretty close to getting to 24th and 23rd. Our goal is top 35. So like I've said before, we're well on our way there. Let's hop into today's race. And to start the month of August, we're gonna be running Watkins Glen. If you guys saw my last video, I did a little bit of practice, practice to get ready for this one. I. I don't think it helped. So today I've got my Daniel Ricardo shirt. I'm sure the Honey Badger will bring me good luck. So I know I said previously, I definitely think I am better at this track than I am at Sonoma. I honestly, I don't think we can do much worse than we did at Sonoma. We blew a motor and came back to finish 39th I believe so if we can finish on the lead lap and not blow a motor Car left. All clear. I'd say that's a pretty solid day for right. us a big thing all here right. is just Go not clear. not ending all up right. in the sand clear traps there's not a lot of walls that uh, stick out to get clear you left. like they do at Sonoma but you can definitely run into people and hurt your car that way. That is for sure. Mark Martin is right. one of the really good road course racers in real life and in this game. So if we can... Uh, car left. Clear left. The engine's blown. All right. I was going to say if we can hang with him, then uh, we might be... We might be in a good spot. But hey, I guess we found a spot where the wall comes out to get you and you can blow your motor. <laughs> so we did not complete a full practice lap last time around. So the hope here is to at least finish a lap. We'll see if we can get that far. I almost just flipped in the sand. This is ridiculous. Car left. All clear. Okay. All right. The engine's blown. I didn't even make it a full lap out of the pits <laughs> to the line to start my first lap. I don't know who decided to make our front end out of paper mache, but uh, that's not that's not what I need. Beautiful line through the bus stop. I think we might actually make it back to the finish line this time. All right, we have started a practice lap. Oh, all right, Dave. I was in the grass. That was kind of on you for running into me. Okay. All right. I get that we're not very fast, but like, this is ridiculous. Still there. <laughs> Whoops. We are obviously lacking straight line speed but uh, I don't know how to break either. So this will be a fun one. So I think I have the braking into turn one pretty all right. It's just everywhere else I don't know how to drive apparently. 
So we spun Terry Labonte out in the bus stop last lap, and he is back ahead of us already. Ooh, that doesn't help you break when you touch the grass. Now, touching grass is good for someone like me in my real life, you know, because I sit at a computer all day, but when you're driving a race car, you do not want to touch grass. Grass bad. Yep. Yep, grass bad. Well, we can't turn because our wheel is bonked. On the bright side, that is something that could get fixed with a pit stop. And unlike a motor, it doesn't take 36 minutes. But I definitely have to watch out for that wall. That is one I will probably run into. Well, I think we're ready to qualify. Two consecutive laps. That's a new record. Ah, uh, yes, we ran a 122 was our best lap. In theory, we won't start last. In theory. Go, 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 go. Come on. <laughs> This thing spins the tires way too easy. Okay. We're fine. It's just a wheel. We got four. I think that's a pretty good line through there. If I can do that, I should, in theory, be able to stay out of that wall. Problem is, I'm just trying way too hard because this car is so bad. Which is causing me to make a lot of mistakes. And those mistakes are how I hit walls. And hitting walls are how you blow motors. It's not cheating if they don't tell you it's cheating. I have to say, I am pretty surprised with how smooth that lap was. We knocked like four seconds off our previous best lap time, so... I'm interested to see where we land. Hey, the 22 starting P22. And that'll put us on the right side because in this game, they just put the odd number cars on the left side and the even on the right side, even on a track like this where you're turning right instead of left, but uh, oh well. So the goal is don't blow the motor, finish better than 39th, profit. Welcome to the Finger Lakes region of New York State and Watkins Glen International. This world famous road course leads drivers through a fast two and a half mile twisting 12 turns. With banking ranging from six to 10 degrees in the corners and great elevation changes, one always has to be alert in order to conquer Watkins Glen. All right, let's go conquer Watkins Glen. Get set, the race is going green. There's the green flag. We're so good, we don't even have to start on the turn. We are also getting walked down the front stretch. Still there. All right, we got through the first turn without any serious damage. Clear left. Look at us. So good. 
Car left. All clear. Ooh, that's a lot of smoke. The yellow's out. <laughs> yellow's out already. So this is a 12 lap race. All right. Clear right. Pitting will not get us to the end. All right, we did a lap and didn't completely wreck the car. Progress. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Ten laps to go. Car left. Ooh, I may have overcooked that a bit. Hold your line. Oh, we're fine. Everything's Yellow fine. Yeah, right. that was that was expected. Right. I uh kind of mixed up my braking marker a little bit, and by mixed up, I mean I didn't hit the brakes. Well, we are certainly going to pit this time, as we now have a good chunk of engine damage. Stay right. Still there. All clear. Oh, we can't turn. Oh, yeah, the car is unhappy. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull a little sneaky, see if I can pit while pit road is closed, and uh, see what happens. All right, so the bucket heads have started service. We are last. That wheel did not look like it was attached, but that's okay. All right, we're good to go. Let's see what happens. We have caught up to the field. Jeff Burton looks like he's had a pretty rough day because Jeff Burton's hood is all scrunched up. The Sitco logo is basically just like missing a letter because it's all squished. <laughs> I'm gonna pit again just to add a little bit of extra fuel. Hopefully we'll get out in front of some people instead of uh, coming out last, but we'll see what happens. In theory, I should start at the end of the longest line because we pit when pit road was closed, but we'll see. Oh, come on. We have to wait for people to come in and out of their pit stalls before we can pit. Come on. Did we really burn two seconds of fuel there? Are you sure? Let's go. All right, we're 15th. So even with the 12 seconds of damage we had before, we essentially netted out only losing two spots by pitting. I uh, I think we, we scammed it a little bit there. I bet all the guys in front of me saw what I did to Jeff Burton, the last restart, and they are all probably very worried, and they should be. So I believe seven laps of fuel is what you have with a full tank. That's assuming seven green flag laps, and I believe we're going to be coming to seven to go. I would assume everyone pit because they think they can make it. My goal is to not have to pit again. However, with how often we crash, we might have to pit again. We have to sit through a whole nother pace lap? Uh, this is one of those times where I really wish the skip button would pop up. Like, sometimes it screws everything up, sometimes everything is fine. I want my skip button. Gimme. This is my favorite part when it comes to editing these videos because it's literally just been like seven minutes of caution flags 
and you know I cut all that stuff out so you guys don't have to watch it but I am just sitting here agonizing through all these pace laps if he doesn't say the pace car is off very soon I'm going to cry Off. Yay. There's the green flag. Alright, so this time we have to remember to hit the brakes. You're all clear. Car left. Look at that. Barely a lock up. Didn't crash into anybody. Car left. I'm amazing. Sorry, Steve. Oh, we're fine. Still there. Everything's fine. I'm sorry, I'm slow. Clear left. Oh, we're fine. Yeah. Passing the grass. The yellow's out again. I didn't even do that one. Oh, just don't hit the wall. We're okay. Pace cars out. We're okay. Five laps to go. All right. We didn't crash. I mean, the car doesn't look good, but we didn't crash. We're not gonna pit. I'm gonna skip ahead once it pops up. And we'll be fine. The pace car is off. Get set. Oh? There's the green flag. I guess I'm the leader now? Car left. Well, I was the leader. Car left. Oh, wide. Ryan. Hello. All right. Um, I hope we have enough fuel to get to the end because I am going to not let anyone pass me or die trying. Car left. Clear left. Let's go. Oh, come on. No, man. I am never getting him back. That's so aggravating. I don't think I'm going to get him back. Oh, and we're not going to have enough fuel anyways. I am not going to pit, but I don't know if we're going to be able to finish this thing. Oh. Oh, we're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, we're just going to do a little one. Oh, no. No, they got me with the penalty. Dang it. All right. That's so upsetting. All clear. Like, I wasn't going to win, but I wanted to at least try. Two to go. 
Oh yeah, it says we're an entire lap short. You're low on fuel. That's fine. We're not going to pit, buddy. Close enough. You're low on fuel. No, I'm not. Oh, oh, we're right. fine. We're fine. Last lap, all clear. You're low on fuel. Car left, all clear. Car right. Buddy, I want my podium. Oh, no. Oh, man. It's only a little bit of damage. We're fine. You're low on fuel. Oh, we're good. Don't run out now. Oh, come on. We got two more corners. Rusty, right. I love you. Yeah, I, I want fifth. Hope that's all right. He understands. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a top five at a road course. Let's go. And we did lead a lap. That is, that is a big plus. Very happy about that. 22nd to 5th. After Sonoma, I was very worried that this was going to be another Sonoma. And especially during practice, I was very, very worried this was going to be another Sonoma. But my gosh, we did it. Top 5, baby. What a great points day for the team. That was an awesome race great finish for the team let's hope that green is a lot well that top five was very nice for the pocketbook that is for sure 119,000 in the bank let's go the real star today was austin cannon who climbed from 22nd to 5th i had a tough time qualifying because my team brought me a paper mache car but my team did a good job with adjustments, me not pitting and coming out in the lead. But hey, you know, I'm humble for the newspaper. I tell them my team helped. It was all me. All me. I did it all. <laughs> oh, man. So there are the finishing results. Oh, Rusty Wallace only fell back to 10th after I wrecked him. He has nothing to complain about. And that bumps us ahead of Hermie Sadler. We're now 24th in the points. And we're only a couple points behind Mike Wallace. Not bad. Well, friends, that's going to do it for another episode. That turned out so much better than I expected. I, I don't think doing all that road course practice beforehand really helped. Or maybe it did help. I don't know. Let me know down below. And as always... Drop a like if you like the video, comment if you've got anything to say, and subscribe if you're not. Hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.